What is going on everybody? Shri Kanasa here. So I tried selling a winning product that was a winner for me on Google ads, which brought me roughly $30,000 in sales within a period of a month on Facebook ads. And here are the exact results. So as you guys see on my screen, we're going to start off by looking at the Shopify dashboard because this is where you can see the actual winning product and what that winning product did to my sales on the Shopify store. Now keep in mind that this Shopify store is actually run 99% on Google ads. The 1% does come from retargeting. I often do on Facebook. So that's why it's only 99% via Google, but overall a very consistent store last year. I did a case study on this store and this store had actually crossed over $1 million for the year of 2020. If you don't even know what I'm talking about, I'll leave the link for that video in the description. But here, I just want to show you guys the overall chart and the winning product when I did actually sell it. So I sold that winning product on this dropshipping store from March 1st all the way up to June 6th. And after June 6th, it did sort of die down. So that's why the chart is only looking at about March 1st to June 6th. But even before this right here, which is a big upward tick in the sales, I was actually still selling this winning product, which I'll be showing you guys very shortly in this time period right here. But as you guys can see, the sales weren't that great compared to this time period. In that time, there were a lot of ups and downs, even though the days were still pretty good. And we still did about $338,000 in sales. But in total, we did 407,000 with about $70,000 refunds. But this is the time period when I began advertising this product on Facebook, I just thought of trying something new. And as you guys can see, it worked out really well in my favor because I was able to reach about 5,000 all the way up to about $9,000 in sales during this time period, which is absolutely insane. So now that you did look at this chart, what I'm going to do is refresh this really quick. So you guys know this is 100% real and not something I just cooked up for this video. So as you guys can see, it is currently getting refreshed. And once it does get fully refreshed, you'll see that today it has done this amount in sales. And if we go back to about M March 1st, all the way up to June 6th, we can see that the results stay the absolute same. So right here. But now that we covered this, let's look at the Google ads dashboard for this product, because this was again a winning product on Google before I decided to switch it off into Facebook ads. But before we look into this, make sure to destroy the like button if you haven't already, because this video is going to be one that you're not going to want to leave on and be sure to subscribe if this is the first time you're watching this video. But here are the two exact products. These products actually are the same thing, just with a different size. So basically a variation of each other so far looking at all time results. And of course, these results are only from about March 1st onwards. We have spent about $5,000 for the first variation and about 3000 in the second variation, just within one general testing campaign. As of right now, both are excluded because I am running one of these winning variations in a smart shopping campaign, it sort of died down within this general testing campaign. But what I want to show you guys is the overall return on ad spend. So I got about a 3.39 ROAS for the first variation with the 3.96 ROAS for the second one. And in case you guys haven't seen, these are basically high ticket products. This one sold for 150, this one sold for $200, but I did lower the price recently to 189. And overall, the first one got me $17,274. The second one got me $11,207. But if we take into account the smart shopping campaigns and their data, this does equal to about $30,000 in sales just from Google ads within a period of one month or so. So absolutely amazing results that I got with this product. But about the time period when you guys saw that upward tick on my sales dashboard, I thought that it would be really interesting to give this product a try on Facebook ads simply because at that point I had not really been using Facebook ads much, if at all, besides retargeting. And this product was sort of a product related to the events going around in March, April and May with the increase of certain materials out there. And this product is very useful in making that specific material, which was going up in price. So that is exactly why more and more people were already looking to buy this product. But considering that I had done this much amount in sales profitably, I was very interested in trying this out on Facebook. So here's what I did exactly. I went on Facebook ads and I have my Facebook ads dashboard right here with all of the campaigns and we're going to rank by the most amount spent. But what I did is basically start a purchase conversion optimized campaign for that product. And there was only that specific product within this campaign, no other products with both the variations. And as you guys can see, I had many different interests already. And I was also using some lookalikes because there was enough data for this product on my Shopify store already due to Google ads. So this is why it is absolutely amazing if you find a winning product on Google and then go on Facebook and give that a try. But as you guys can see, a lot of these specific campaigns were running at different kinds of budgets. And overall, we did have very good cost per purchases because again, the profit margin was 
for this product was around $100 because it was a high ticket product. I was only getting it for around $80 or so and selling it for $200. So that is basically over a $100 profit margin. And this kept me alive simply because I was able to spend much more money than the normal competitor on the same exact product. And ranking by the ROAS, we can see that I had a lot of campaigns with different kinds of ROAS going up to about five. During the peak time, these were all the way up to 10. But of course, any product does die down. The same thing happened with this. And over time, it did start to tick down, which is why I ended up killing it. But looking at the cost per purchase, it was around $20 for a product which the average profit margin was $100 for me, which is, again, absolutely insane. So very successful with this product, and I was able to get a lot of sales. But let's kind of consider exactly what I did with this product, because a lot of people might be in a similar situation, or they may want to be getting in a similar situation, where they want to basically find a winning product via Google Ads, and then transfer that winning product from Google onto Facebook ads because with Facebook, it is much, much easier to scale quickly at a much faster pace than you can with Google ads. And we already saw that with the chart that I had up on my screen on my Shopify store. But what I did is I came onto Facebook ads and this is exactly the first campaign that I launched. So I launched this campaign with around seven interests because I normally like to put up about five to 10 interests. So around seven to eight ad sets is what I launched. And if we go back into April, so basically going back to about April 1st, all the way up to April 15th or so, we can see exactly what those ad sets were. So right here, as you guys can see, it was the, basically the second day of running these ad sets. I'd spent about $154 and over on the right side, we can see that I was getting sales at $6 per purchase for a ROAS of 19, 17, 10, and seven. So a lot of people ask me, what is a winning product? How do you know if you have a winning product? This is when it's a winning product. I spent basically around just about $20 on this ad set to get back $403. And this is on Facebook ads during a time period when a lot of people are struggling to even get a three times return on ad spend. So this is exactly when I knew I was onto a winning product. And this is how you should also know if you have a winning product or not. You don't really have to force a product to be a winner. Literally on the second day, I had three sales at $6 a purchase for a product with a profit margin at $100. That is absolutely insane. So this is when I knew I had a winning product. And if I wanted to make good sales from this product, I had to act fast. So what I did during the rest of the month was basically start launching AdSense as fast as I could. So as you guys can see within that time period, I got 85 sales for a total conversion value of about 13,000. Of course, this is not fully right because during this time period is when those iOS updates started to come into play. Tracking got all messed up, but that was simply fine to me because I was getting a good amount of ROAS. I knew I was getting a lot of sales based on my Shopify dashboard. So I decided to keep it running. And this is when I started to duplicate a lot of the ad sets. As you guys can see, I had this ad set running at about $100 a day. So basically what I did is I followed the same exact strategy I teach on my YouTube channel. I went for a winning product on Google Ads following my exact criteria, which I lay out when. And if you're not really sure, be sure to watch those videos. But just to give a recap on what criteria this product matched, it had a very, very good search volume, much higher than the 25,000 monthly searches that I always say a product should have. In addition, there weren't really any competitors during the time period when I actually found this product. And I had no idea that whatever was happening during that time period was actually going to favor my product because this product was something, again, that created a specific material which went up in price tremendously during the last few months. So because of that, this product was something people were already starting to search. And I just happened to find this product while doing my product research methods on eBay and Amazon. Because again, on those websites, a lot of customers had already started to purchase this product as well, but it was still fairly new, not really on Google ads yet because dropshippers had not found it. So I knew right away from that point that this was a winning product. So I added it to my store. Within a few days, I was getting sales for it on Google ads and on my shopping campaign. So that's when I started to basically get the idea of running it on Facebook ads, which is what I did. After getting these few winning ad sets, however, I decided that instead of scaling it slowly like I normally would with my vertical scaling method of increasing the budget and duplicating four times to $25 a day, I changed that to about $100 a day because again, I knew this was time sensitive. It was a product with a very high profit margin and this is also another reason why you need to find products with higher profit margins because it gave me the ability to create $100 per day ad sets with ease and these ad sets actually got me sales at 
$5 per sale. But if it had not gotten me a sale at $5 per sale, even if it was at $90 per sale, I would still be in a profit. This is why it is so important you go in and find those high ticket items instead of focusing on the low ticket to the mid ticket. Because with this experience, I've come to realize that it takes the same amount of effort, might even be less, to sell a high ticket product than a low ticket product. And one thing you're going to be surprised to know about this winning product, however, is that if we look at all of the ads for this specific campaign, all of them are image ads. All right, now that you're back to normal after being completely shocked with what I just said, I always have believed from the beginning that image ads have just the same amount of ability to sell a product as do video ads. And a lot of dropshippers out there believe that video ads is the way to go. And if you don't have a video ad, you're basically destined to fail. I can show you right here that this product right here was working on image ads completely fine. So actually what I did is I tested a video ad variation with the image ad variation. And the first ad copy right here is actually the video ad, which is performing the best for one of the ad sets. However, before you think I was just lying a few seconds ago, look at the next few ad copies. All of these ad copies right here are image ad copies. So only one of the ad sets had the video ad as a winning ad copy while the rest all of them had the image ad as the ad copy as you guys can see even though the cost per purchase was much more than what it was for the first ad copy right here facebook found it much better to be advertising the image ad copies rather than the video ad copies and this is and this is exactly what i've seen time and time again so next time you think that image ads are not going to work just come back to this video and watch it again because the amount of ROAS that I got from these image ad copies is absolutely insane compared to the video ad. Of course, there were a few more videos which did get me sales, but overall image ad copy is what Facebook found much more relevant to the audience and the audience actually interacted more with this ad copy than the video ad. So you just want to keep an open mind when you're advertising on Facebook or just any other advertising platform. Don't just always listen to what those so-called YouTube gurus say regarding ads because right here is what you need to prove all of them wrong. And this product actually would require a demonstration to even sell. And I have had a lot of potential customers say on the ad copy itself on the comment section that they would have preferred a video showcasing how the product is working but that did not stop them from buying this product that did not stop me from doing five thousand to seven thousand dollars in sales every single day just with this product so that should let you know exactly what you want to be looking out for but that is basically how i was able to take a winning product on google ads and transfer it to become a winning product on facebook and do this amount in sales but i do currently offer one-on-one -on -one google ads mentoring if you are surprised by these results just know that these are very normal results with google ads you can achieve the same kind i do offer one-on-one -on -one google ads mentoring if that does interest you be sure to send me a message on instagram at dedicated young i currently do take on a few students every single month for my special one-on-one -on -one google ads mentoring so again at dedicated young just send me a dm but if you find any type of value in this video like always smash that like button and smash that subscribe button and i'll see you guys next time